My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up, fam? Welcome back to my channel. Do I have way too many bright colors in a two foot area? Probably. But it is all for good reason. Today is going to be a fun, bright tutorial using the new Huda Beauty Neon Obsessions. I got the Neon Orange Obsessions and the Neon Pink Obsessions. I did choose to use the Orange Obsessions to, yeah, Orange Obsessions today. And this is the look I came up with. So if you would like to see how this palette performs. I'll do some quick swatches and just my thoughts on it and how to get this bright summer look then keep on watching. And if you do like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Alright and don't forget that I'm going to be doing every every video I'm gonna start asking like a deep question and that will be at the end so if you would like to hear it and answer in the comments below i would really appreciate it and yeah let's get into this um huda beauty came out with three new of the mini obsessions palettes there was pink pink orange and green these are the two that spoke to me the most the green one just not so much and I was uh, watching a few tutorials the other day and I'm glad I did not get the green one because it seems as if as far as like pigmentation and performance of uh, the shadows the green one is not so hot here is the orange one. Oh my gosh and these like, oh, so gorgeous and the pink I will be doing a tutorial with this one. Uh, if you're watching this video, I'm, I assume you've probably already seen swatches of these, but I will just include a quick picture of swatches of both of them. The pink one, there were a couple shades that I was not so impressed with on, upon swatching, but I have not used them on the eye, so I can't tell you yet how they perform but let's get into the orange tutorial for right now i've been sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to decide which palette i want to use and then i think i decided on the orange one so then i spent another 10 minutes trying to decide what i wanted to do and i'm like i just dive into it play around it's makeup if i don't like it i probably won't upload it <laughs> so i'm just gonna see how things go. Let my intuition guide this look. I want to try out these. Uh, I got them from Wish. It's kind of like a version of shadow shields. I was going to put them on before I started filming, but I didn't want to be like, hi guys. So these are actually like really big compared to the like regular shadow shields, but I, I don't know. I think I like that. I'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here, this light orange, so pretty, and we're just going to do it. Ooh, swatching these, like, the mattes, oh, so pigmented. Like, I was honestly shook. Um, I'm going to have to see how the shimmer shades perform on the lid. So I'm just going to put this in my crease. This JH32 and I'm going to go in with the orange down here. It's a little darker. The one I first use is more like a yellow orangish. This is like more of like a peachy coral orange. Really pretty. Like, look at that. Ooh, yes. I'm 
just going to take the excess and kind of rub it onto my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to take this like gorgeous like coral pink orange all in one and a Sigma E25 and oh my gosh, swatching this color. Oh, look at that. It's to die for. Oh my god, that's so gorgeous. Now I'm going to take some NYX glitter glue. I can't decide if I want to use the orange or the yellow. I don't know, this yellow is just like speaking to me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Just gonna do it. Just do it. Nike. This is not sponsored. <laughs> There is some fallout, but I mean, I always do my eyeshadow first, so that's not anything that I really care too much about. It's a shimmer shade. I'm expecting there to be some fallout. Ooh, I'm really liking that. And this is like completely dry. I just wanted to see. I always go in dry first, and then I will wet my brush just to give it that extra pop. I'm going to take this Morphe 149 and I'm going to go in with this like beautiful like pinkish purple and put that in the outer. Oh my god, that's so pretty. with my E25. I'm going to take that original orange transition shade and just do a one over. I'm going to take my Fix Plus now, and I just put it on a little dish, and I'm going to go back in with that like gorgeous chartreuse green-yellow shade. Paul's Try Grace earlier. I love that show. Like, I wish I had like a friend that was a drag queen. They like I have so much respect for them because like they're the only men that understand 
how much time and energy goes into makeup. Like, it's a full-time job. No joke. We could talk about makeup. They could teach me how to sew. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go in with this like pretty orange coral and a slanted eyeliner brush, and I'm just gonna use that as eyeliner. It is like so pigmented that it will work without me having to go in with another eyeliner first. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Marigold, which is a beautiful, like, shimmer copper. Okay, now I'm going to take a JH43, and just because I want to try a different color I'm going to use this like pinkish coral for the lower lash line I said I wasn't going to use every single color and I'm using almost every single color Alright, so I'm also going to go in with that, like, coral orange. Blend it out. Because there's not really any shades in this palette to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to... I'm going to take this slate, oh, this very dirty Solstice Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to go in with, like, this yellowish-white color. Ooh, that looks like a pretty sunset. And I'll take this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara actually it's a really good mascara yeah I'm really loving this I'm gonna go finish my makeup beat my face and I will be back I don't love no material thing, but I'm in love with the feelings they bring. How, how, how they do that? How they do that? Love no material thing, but I'm in love with the feelings they bring. How, how they do that? Okay, so this is the completed look. Um, I went a little over the top with the neon but I never like I don't wear my wigs out so this is like I don't know I just if I'm not gonna wear it for a video then when the hell am I gonna wear it for lashes I used Icona lashes in about last night and for my lip I used this YSL uh, Rouge Velup Shine in number 12. Mm -hmm. It's like beautiful coral. It just went perfect with like the colors and the eye look. And these lipsticks are like more sheer than like a regular lipstick. So I didn't feel like it was too like crazy, like too bold. All right, guys, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this tutorial. I thought it was really fun. It's summer. I'm loving the neon vibe. Yeah. Oh, let me do my question of the day. Is it possible to be too creative to the point of insanity? Yes. This is a perfect example. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> what are your thoughts on online dating or Tinder? So this isn't the question, but I do want to talk about this because I actually made a video and it was, I'll give you the cliff notes, it was basically how online dating is really hard, especially for women. Men are like visual, but women, and especially myself, I don't date someone based off of their appearance. And that's all online dating is, is a picture, appearance. I don't, like, what's really important to me is how comfortable I am around someone, how I feel around them, what my intuition tells me. And I, you know, don't have access to those things through online dating. So I was just basically talking about, you know, why it's harder for women, especially myself, to online date, because we're just not visual creatures. And it's not all about physical attraction to us. And I have so many men leaving like the meanest comments and like I just don't get it. Like I'm not saying anything bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, such a stupid video. Here's another one. No, y'all just picking y'all want a superhuman with a perfect body. Women get everyone hitting them up. Men could barely get a reply back. So I'm basically talking about how I don't care about appearances in the video and if somehow he got that I want a perfect body. Oh, here's another one. Just because you get ghosted on every date doesn't mean online dating sucks for women. Unless you got money, guys have to swipe right all day and wait for one date while women get 50 plus dates a day. Dating apps were created for women. Girls can go on 30 first dates and get free dinner and drinks. How is that bad? And I, so I replied, I said, um, there's a study that showed women spend as much, if not more money, preparing for a date, clothes, makeup, as men spend on dinner. The point I was trying to make is it's harder for a woman to find someone we're compatible with based off of a picture alone. And his reply was, because you are way too happy to discard men based on looks. Huh? Unfortunately, things like Tinder make this psychologically easy. That doesn't even make sense. Um, someone else said, 90% of civilized women have their clothes, makeup already bought for everyday activities, work, school, even the gym, outside of dating. So any study that potentially shows women spend as much money strictly on dating as men is utter BS. Being a makeup fashion guru, I'm sure you're well aware of this. Women have undeni undeniable privilege in the dating world always have it's silly to deny that you know what so I will make this my question do you like what what's your opinion on online dating do you think it's easier for women or for men I mean yes I do believe it's true that you know women get more messages but that's because dating like traditional dating roles, the man is supposed to pursue the woman. I am not gonna message guys because I'm not gonna pursue a man. Why do they even watch the fucking video? Really? Anyways, I guess there, just like there are some women who are, you know, who think there's something wrong with all men, that they think it's just men, I guess there are men who think it's just women and they're just bitter about the complete opposite sex. And I don't get ghosted on every day, motherfucker. Oh, here's a really good, good one. If you could tell your former self one thing right now, what would it be? You are not weird. You are perfect the way you are. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You are beautiful. Love yourself. And don't let anyone treat you anything less than love and respect. And things will get better. <laughs> Whoa, that was a complete, like, emotional turn. Like, one <laughs> emotional 180. <laughs> Alright, guys. I will see you next time.